Well hello there, it's Rosa Anis and today we are creating a CI CD pipeline for AngularJS using GitLab and AWS. So hopefully you guys enjoy and stay coding. Alright, so before we get into the whole process here, you need to have a couple of things, a couple of prerequisites to start uh, learning the process of creating a CI CD pipeline in AWS using GitLab. So, first of all, you really need to have Node.js installed on your system. Uh, I believe if you are already working in uh, AngularJS and uh, JavaScript, then you will probably have all these things, but I'm still going over these uh, absolute necessary prerequisites to get you started in CI CD. Uh, so, first of all, download this latest uh stable version of node.js which is this one which is which has uh, lts marked on it then go to go uh, head over to angular.js website angular.io i will link all these websites down in the description as well uh, so go over there and look at the commands on how to get started with it all right so we can go into get start getting started and set up and we can check what commands it uh, it uses to stall the CLI. So we need to stall the Node.js, then we need to stall the Angular CLI. Great, now that's done. We can head over to AWS. Uh, for that, you need to make an AWS uh, services account, which is pretty simple. Just head over to AWS services and create an account. It is free uh, for some purposes you can actually use it for free and you can just create a free account you can start playing around it is a it is mostly used by developers for learning purposes and trying out things so uh, do not expect it to really uh, come into uh, real useful scenarios when uh, you're dealing with a production environment and stuff like that but you can actually learn a lot using a free tier version of aws account to create an aws account when you have uh, created and logged in the aws account you will see this this screen this front end and then you will uh, have to go into s3 so to find this you can just search for uh, it up here so i'm going to search for s3 so this is the s3 bucket basically it's a storage bucket that we need to create uh, which will hold all the files uh, that we will build using angularjs so basically the html js js files css files whatever it will uh, hold all those files and it will be publicly accessible by anyone on the internet so they can actually view our website i've already created some sc buckets uh, but feel free to create uh, some for yourself so you can create simply create a bucket give it a name give it a region i would i would suggest to leave it as default and then do not block all public access uh, untick this checkbox so that it is accessible on the internet as we are just doing a sample project so it, it doesn't really require that much security and then we are going to keep it as disabled bucket versioning we don't need it we will keep the encryption to disable as well and then we can create the bucket when we create the bucket we will see this screen right here which will have our created bucket inside this table okay so when that's done we have created aws we have set up our angular uh, node command lines and stuff so we need to make a free account on the gitlab.com website and once you have that free account created you can come into your projects on gitlab website once you have logged in you can come into your projects and you can create a new project so when you have created when you create a new project i've already actually have two projects created you create a new project you create from a blank project you give it a name you give it a, an awesome slug as they would say and then you can select by the, whether your repository is visibly visible to public or if it is only visible to you and people you chose to share it with so untick this and create your project right so i have created the project right now it uh, it is showing me all the things that i need to do to make it work on my uh, local machine so we will use this uh, project in our local machine soon all right now let's create a boilerplate angular project so let's uh, see how we would go about and create an uh, angular project that we can later on push to this uh, gitlab and then we can use that code to push it to our aws system using a CICD platform so we would need to open open a cmd here so you what you can do on windows is that you click here and then you can type in cmd that would create a cmd on this uh, this path 
uh, that you chose uh, that you want uh, your angular project to be in then you can write uh, ng uh, new and give it the name i'm going to give it an uh, admin name because it is an admin front end sort of so that's what i i will name it and then i will enter uh what this will do is going to ask you some couple of questions basically some starter things that it needs to set up so i'm going to say why yes yes for both of these things and i'm going to select scss for the styling so it would take some couple of uh minutes depending how long it takes to download all this stuff uh but it should be uh, about 5 to 15 minutes all right let's push our code to the gitlab you will need to for cd into your project inside cmd then you need to add git at dot command inside cmd as well make sure to do this inside the folder that you want to push to the gitlab when that's done you can add the git commit command with dash m and these commands all should be available to you on your gitlab uh, repository And you have done that as well you can push this repository by using git push command and uh, you you push it to the master branch right so we will have to do something really different right now because i have messed up and probably you did too when you were doing it as well let's check it out uh, how we can fix this i'm going to delete this one The issue is that we have it as folder here which is correct and this one is like a another git repository so this is not a uh correct way to do do this thing so we will have to have this as a folder as well so we will create it again this might take a while uh, we'll select the same settings as before so that's done let's uh push this There you go. Now it's correct. Wait. Now we'll have to set up CICD here. Let's do that in the next step. First of all, we are going to create a file named gitlab.ci.yml. That is dot .yml. Also, don't forget to add a dot right before the gitlab as well. All right. So I have copy pasted this file uh, content here, and I'm just going to walk through it. I will also li link uh, the file paste bin for this file this content in the description it will have a little check to see if uh you know it's not used somewhere else and stuff like that uh, but just follow that link and you should be able to get the content of this file otherwise you can just uh copy the content from here uh, let me just uh zoom it zoom it in and i'm going to go through this file you can copy it on your own or you can uh go through the link in the description and copy it from here from there so let's see first of all we are going to define some variables in our gitlab.ci.yml file uh we'll need to add uh, a variable named s3 bucket name admin and i added the name here and then the s3 bucket name user i added the name here as well the th these are the variables that contain the value values of names of the buckets that we created in s3 bucket that uh i will show that process as well so don't worry about that then we will uh create a new stage uh in our gitlab file which is uh, named stages it will have three uh primary stages which is build test deploy they will run uh in sequential order to each other 
uh, then we'll make a build dash admin stage this is just a build stage but specifically for admin so we have added dash admin to it we'll add an image to it as well which is node.js latest because we want this build to use the node.js uh, latest image file to run these commands so we are going to add the stage uh, description as build because it is a build stage and we are going to add some scripts scripts are basically something that you write in your cmd or in your terminal uh, these are commands that we mostly have written even in our terminal in vs code so they are not anything uh, unique the only thing that you need to know that this is also sequential so first line would will run first which is cd admin which uh, what we are basically doing is we are going into this folder and then we are running npm install dash g at angular dash cli so we are installing angular cli in this machine this image right here so this we are not installing it inside our machine this is installed in a dockerized uh, image container okay then we are going to do npm install so it installs all the package dot uh, json dependencies and then we are going to run the command ng build we will not have this command available to us if we did not install this so that's why we needed to install this so uh, when we have done that we can echo that build successful for admin app we are also create, going to create some artifacts uh, that are paths to admin.dist folder and admin node modules folder so basically these two things will be available in our uh, in our uh, dockerized container so we can use these things later on down below we'll do the same thing for the build user the same process all that's changed is the user directory here then we are going to run our test sample stage we are not doing any tests in our program so we don't really need to run a, a specific test uh, framework here we're just going to add the stage name and it's going to echo all tests passed uh, then we are going to run the deploy stages for admin first we are going to name this stage as deploy we are going to use image python latest this is absolutely necessary if you are going to deploy it on the aws s3 server because it uses uh, python dependencies and code to run this command so we need to do this uh yeah add this image then we can run the script files which is pip install aws cli we are basically installing our aws cli in our uh, python configuration then we are going to cd into dot admin uh, slash this slash admin so basically the dist folder that it made here has an another folder inside of it named admin which is the name of the app for that we are going to run the aws3 copy command copy all the content of this folder and it's going to send it over to uh, the s3 bucket remember this uh, variable here we are using it with a dollar sign s3 bucket name admin it's basically going to place this value in here because we have defined it as a variable and then we are going to just recursively send all the files this uh, makes sure that if you have some folders in your directory like css styles uh, static images and there are multiple folders in there it will uh, send all the things to your s3 bucket we'll do the same thing for the uh, user directory as well it's just going to have user user in place of admin and also need to change the variable name here as well all right so up to upload this code to aws you'll need to actually ha uh, add the access keys and authentication to the gitlab uh variables those variables are used at the time that it is uh, running this gitlab ci yaml file so it will use those variables to uh, look uh yeah it's there so go into your settings ci cd and then the variables and let's add these variables here so let's add a variable okay so for me both of these variables have been added to get these keys you need to go, go into your aws console and go into your my security credentials page and over there you need to uh, create access key when you do that you will be able to create an access key and then you can use those values in the variables uh field inside the gitlab what i can do now is that i can uh 
actually use these variables okay after that's done you just simply need to get commit get add all then get uh commit a message here and you can just simply afterwards push this code by git push and your pipeline will be running on the gitlab server uh gitlab bucket uh repository which you can uh, see in the next step all right guys this next part is pretty important we are going to make some changes that are absolutely necessary to uh, run our angular application on the aws web so to be able to for it to be accessible by anyone on the internet uh, we need to do a couple of changes on the aws platform and uh, let's see the what's the response of it's uh, running so this is the run response of it it uh, basically copied all the files to this location that we specified then we can go to that location in here take our sec and we need to do a couple of changes all right so first of all let's see uh, the files are available here i've already done the changes on this platform so what i've done here is that first of all in properties uh right at the bottom there's this uh, static website posting tab added that tab and it would be disabled enable it and also tick tick this option host a static website also add these values in both of these fields nothing else to be added here just keep these uh values here and then you can go into permissions uh untick this box if it is ticked for you then you can add this code right here in the bucket policy you will have to edit it then you can add this code right here in the bucket policy i'll uh, add this code as well in the uh, description or i'll just uh, create a small git uh, snippet of it so you can use that as well i'll link it in the description and then uh, basically we are done here for this this uh this uh, bucket so what what we have done is that if i click on this uh, link right here then i can actually see the website load for us so this is a website uh, we can actually see the website and that is uh cool that is uh, it's running on the aws website and we have actually completed our pipeline for it uh this was all hopefully you guys enjoyed it a lot and hopefully you guys learned a lot as well and if you did please do a leave a like comment down below as well and consider subscribing because all these things actually matter a lot uh if you have found this helpful then please do leave a like and if you have not found this helpful and think that you already knew this stuff and it was a bit redundant then still please do leave a like because that will uh enable the video to be suggested to someone that would find this content and this uh process helpful so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time have fun goodbye